this is Chelsea from eventplanning.com and today we're talking about preferred vendor lists. A preferred vendor list is so crucial to your event planning company. Basically, it's a list of vendors that you have a working relationship with. You either use this list to recommend to your clients or you book directly on their behalf. A vendor list is really, really important because it gives you the ability to deliver on the things that you promise to your clients. So say that a client comes to you and they say, okay, we want to have a stage with our DJ on it and we're going to have a bunch of flowers behind them. When you're first talking to this client, you can't make promises and build on those ideas with creative ideas of your own if you don't have working knowledge of the vendors that can deliver these things in your area. So it's really important because it helps you be reliable and deliver on the promises that you make. It's important to also have multiple vendors for each area so that you can use those different vendors and interchange and make sure that they have the availability that you need for your event. So how do you get these preferred vendors? The first step is to gather info. So I want you to go online and look up all the vendors in the area that you plan on working on. I want you to look up decor and rentals and transportation and catering and floral, lighting, sound, anything that you think you might need to put on any type of event. You're gonna reach out to these companies, hopefully go into their company to meet them or meet at a coffee shop and gather as much information about the inventory that they have, what their setup is like, what their breakdown is like, and maybe a price list as well. What I personally like to do is give them kind of a mock scenario. So what if I had this 100 person event during peak season on a Saturday, and then they get back to me with how much it would cost to produce the event that I've created. This gives me a really good base so that when I am talking to clients, I can quote them you know, approximate numbers and have them be pretty close to reality for each of these vendors. From there, I like to evaluate the results. So for me, it's important to have at least three vendors per category. This way, there's always somebody that's available, and then I can have somebody in each different price range that has different products or a different feel to them to meet all of my clients' needs. So I make a spreadsheet, and this spreadsheet will have all the information that I need. It will be really accessible for me. So I have their name, their address, their email address, anything that they provide, any specials, any discounts that they might have. And I have this list ready to go when I go to meet my clients as a reference point that I can come back to and suggest certain things for them and also know where I'm going to be price wise. The third thing that's really important for your vendor list is you need to track and review the vendors. So you need to stay in touch with them. I'd say at least every year, make sure you go through that vendor list, make sure their prices haven't raised or anything like that, and also see if there's any new vendors on the market. A lot of times, new vendors can give you the best discounts. They're gonna be really excited to get their name out there and that, that you're willing to put them on their preferred vendor list. So that's a great incentive to get a little bit of a discount. No matter what, your preferred vendor list can also always help you get the best rate possible because you're booking repeat clients, you develop a relationship with them, and you guys trust each other. It's a mutual beneficial relationship. So it's really important to have one of these in your back pocket. It's the backbone of your event planning business. For more information and for more lessons like this, head to eventplanning.com.